Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Star Trek Resurgence, the story-driven Star Trek game. We pick up our mission on collision course, where we're on the alien ship looking to get off and make a makeshift escape pod. I have the away team. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. And you should know, the Zeldi is set to self-destruct. If we do enough damage to the Zeldi first, it'll prevent the self-destruct sequence from completing. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need they to escape. act fast. <clears throat> Hold all fire. Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now. You heard her. Done. Ready? Boom. Detonate! Oh. Why isn't there a hole in the size of that container? And then we can see old frosty bodies float past. We're out! I have them on sensors. Tractor beam activating. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire. Fire! Kathwap. That's one ship down. Now beam this lot out in their little TARDIS, that's what I say. There you have it. Tractor beams locked on. We have them. They'll be pulled into the docking bay shortly. There's something else. I tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. We're here for everything. Now. We'll go there together. I have to see it for myself. We'll go there together. I had assumed as much. Is this the Takan arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mystery. Empire, our greatest treasure, our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bridrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Yep, he's Mr. Con Man. Wait, <clears throat> you're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydeck knew what she was doing. Are you trying to keep me on the sidelines, Commander Westbrook? No. I... Uh, we've already lost a captain today. I don't want to lose another. Then you better be on your game. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. What about the flashy ring? Here we go. The Arsenal of Eternity. Any sign of Sidron? Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Glowing plants. Worry. 
phasers should make quick work of the ice. Yes, we're phasering ice now. We get what's going on, yes, get round there. We're through. More plants. Or some sort of technology. It's the freezer. That's what it is. Could be. This is going to be the arsenal of the Tacon. I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some way to activate it. Look around. There must be some sort of hidden mechanism to trigger it. I don't or see anything. A portal could open it. Are you done? There you go, he's opened it. Good for him. Hidden mechanism. Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Nicely done. Okay. Nice shiny reflections on this. I like it. Let's have a look around everybody else. Yes. Up the glowy steps. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. Keep spreading. Stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. My help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. There you go. Call my name. Let's investigate the vault then. Let's get over there. It's obviously something. Hmm. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resolute. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Tacon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. Just turn everything on. Do you know what I mean? Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Right, let's get cracking in. So we're going to step on. And now we're here. Then we're going to step on there. And now we're there. And now we've got the option. It's zipping us all over the place, isn't it? Let's 
Ooh, I'm across. Well, that wasn't difficult. More luck than judgment. Use your tricorder to collect the data. Okay. There's things here to scan. Okay, that done and that done, and now what's this over here? And then I think we're done. I think oh, oh, could be something there. There's a bit of green. Soil. Just soil. It's not from this planet, nor any planet in the Federation database. Alien soil. Why is this here? This is soil from the homeworld. Our capital system. This isn't an arsenal. It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Dakon. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like this. Here we go, look. You cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye forever. Well, we've got mummy and daddy issues. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takan Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being, even with your defenses up. I'm so sorry to put you through this. I know it must be difficult. Don't apologize. I'm glad I came. This means a great deal to me. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? Could it be that? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. No. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, transporting. You better come see this. Just tell me what it is. Get a bit of a jog on. There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up. That's an impressive visual. It's a vault of all other glowy things. I've seen these before. 
in the other vault. And if all of those are the same as this, then there must be... Hundreds of millions, if not billions. All that remains of the Dakon civilization. A distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. Given the size of this vault, there must have been tens of thousands of these cases, representing billions and billions of Takan. A threat on a truly massive scale, one your Federation can't easily contend with. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization, as a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness or injury. They were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. Oh, here we go. This was always their purpose. To restore the glory that was lost. Ooh, the phases are out. Shields! Please. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. Your friends died because of you. If you hadn't attacked us, there could have been a peaceful solution. I've seen the kind of results diplomacy gets in this era. You can hardly blame me for wanting a quicker result. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't oh just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Ophelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. You're talking about a crime against sentient life on a mass scale. Or an evolutionary process where the strongest and most capable survive. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Oh, good for that. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Dun dun dun, who's it gonna be? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. Here comes the massive spacecraft. I hope we speak again, brother. 
Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. For to transport. You have to hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because of you. And still, I've always stood by you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Ophelia, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. Well, that's a bit saucy, isn't it? Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. The Ophelian is coming into view now, Captain. View screen. On screen. Ooh, I said big and look at that. Unbelievable. Arrival at the second vault in less than a minute. I would remind you, those life forms are Tikoth, not science, Tikoth. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. We're gonna transport them. Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. So there. Did I hear that right? Yes, you did. That's an order. Storage crystals are on board in our cargo bay. Thank you. I won't forget this. All right, she's going to resign. I hope you realize what you've done. We don't need another captain who's going to risk our lives just to feed their ego. This ship and this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. Stand down, Lieutenant Pedrosian. It's done. Yes, Captain. And to think, I used to look up to you. Not anymore. The Aphelion is targeting us, approaching rapidly. Oof. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now! Zip it, let's go. Okay, we're moving. 